In this video, we'll explain the new Citrix features that are part of the ThinOS 9.0 operating system. In ThinOS 9.0, Citrix Package is introduced to support Citrix Workspace app with real-time Media Engine client integrated. Citrix Workspace app is a client software app released by Citrix that enables you to access all your virtual apps. During the Citrix Broker setup, you can choose to enable a workspace mode by selecting the checkbox in the Broker setup window. Workspace mode can be used to customize the look and feel of your ThinOS to match the Citrix workspace based layout of published applications and desktops. Now, we'll look at the Citrix Federated Authentication service that is available in the ThinOS 9.0 operating system. The Federated Authentication Service server delegates the user authentication to the Microsoft Active Directory Federation Services server or Azure Active Directory with SAML. Dynamic certificates are issued to users when user authentication is delegated. Azure Active Directory with SAML supports multiple factor authentication. After you enter your email ID and password, you will receive a notification on your registered mobile device. Upon accepting the sign in request on your mobile device, you are logged into your account. Azure Active Directory with SAML also supports self service password reset, through which you can reset the password by selecting the Forgot My Password option. After verifying your identity, you will receive a verification code on your registered mobile device. You can choose to receive the verification code either by a text message or through a phone call. After entering the verification code, you can enter the new password and confirm it. Another feature that is available in the ThinOS 9.0 operating system is browser content redirection. Browser content redirection enables any web browser content including HTML5 videos, to be redirected to the ThinOS client and not redirected to the VDA side. After the feature is enabled in the Citrix policy, you can check if browser content redirection is activated on your Thin client. Open a web browser and enter the URL that you've added in the access control list. The browser viewport is rendered in the ThinOS local client. However, browser attributes such as address bar and status bar still run on the VDA side. Now, let's talk about Citrix HDX Adaptive Transport for Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops. HDX Adaptive Transport enables the ICA virtual channels to automatically adapt to varying LAN and WLAN connections and improve the data throughput. After the feature is enabled in the Citrix policy, you can check if the HDX Transport is enabled on your thing client. Go to the HDX Monitor tool, access the session details, and check whether the connection type is UDP ICA. Citrix HDX Adaptive Display V2 that allows the selective use of the H.264 video codec to compress graphics during video playback in the ICA session is also included in ThinOS 9.0. HDX Adaptive Display V2 combines the H.264 mode and ThinWire compatible mode for a better user experience. After the feature is enabled in the Citrix policy, you can check if the Citrix HDX Adaptive Display V2 is enabled in your Thin client. Go to the HDX Monitor tool, access the graphics properties, and check whether the video codec type is selected. ThinOS 9.0 operating system also supports the Unicode keyboard layout mapping on Citrix apps and desktops. This feature enables you to use the Unicode keyboard layout mapping for non-Windows Citrix Workspace app on the Windows VDA. Select a keyboard layout in your peripherals window on your local client. Now, start the Citrix session. You can see, that the keyboard in the Citrix session works as a language keyboard layout. For more information, see the ThinOS 9.0 Administrator's Guide at dell.com forward slash support.